All right, here we're given square and rectangle. And we're given the sides, 7 and 9 here. You know, the 7 is the side of this square here, right? So square and B, E, F, G, that's a square. Uh, with size 7 right so and the rectangle uh, we try to find the a b c d what is the size uh, a b given that b c is 9 so of course if you are familiar with similar triangle this is an easy problem right but here is not the point we try to find e even simpler approach so in the method number one we're going to use the standard similar triangle here you notice that uh, this angle here Let's call it x. This angle call it y. I claim that x equal to y. Why? Because the both add up to, let's say, z angle here. So since x plus z equal 90 degrees, and also equal y plus z equal 90 degrees, so the angle x must equal the angle y. Now, let's consider two triangles here, right? So triangle uh, a, B, E, triangle A, B, E, and its corresponding triangle um, here, B, G, C, right? Triangle B, G, C. I claim that they are similar triangles. Why? Because there is angle here, 90 degrees here, and also this is 90 degrees here, and X right and equal y right so since the similar triangle what do we get we get this in this case the sides are proportional to each other we need to find out the corresponding sides here we're given seven versus nine right so in other words what do we get is seven over nine right must equal to the corresponding for the, for the nines is actually and let's mark it out the two triangle here, right? So one is this one. Okay, and the other side would be um, here. Okay, so we know that this is also seven. So this 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 number must be seven. The cross the other. The size corresponding to BG, here is BG here, right? BG is is going to be the AB, which which is what are we trying to find? Let's say assume this is X, right? So X in this case would equal to uh, forty nine divided by nine. That's the answer. Is based on the fact that we have two similar triangles. So it's a very simple problem, right? However, we're going to introduce method number two. In my mind, that would be simpler, and even with elementary mathematics, you're able to figure it out. You know, you don't need to use the concept of similar triangles. All right, let's try that. So here, record that. If I have a triangle, is like the, the area of triangle, right? Is base times height, base times height, one half. That's the area of triangle, right? So we're looking at this special triangle here. I'm gonna mark it in red. I'm gonna look at the triangle. B, C, and E. All right. So, first of all, let's treat BE as a base, right? So BE as a base, and the height would be in this case. That would be the seven. So in other words, this triangle is half of this. This is we know that this is a seven, right? B is a, is a base. So here, the, the, the area, in this case, you know, the area 
is going to equal to one half of base times height. Height is also seven here, right? So if you do do a height, is is going to be it's going to be the same as the so this would be the edge here, right? Now, when you can try to view this triangle BC as a base, so BC as a base, so area would equal one half times base, BC is going to be nine. What is the height? If this is a base, right? So let's change the color here. Um, let me change to green. So BC is a base, right? I'm going to mark it here. And for this triangle, the height would be this one. This would be the height. This would be the height. What is the height? Height is, is x, what you're trying to find. So 9 times x. All right? From here, we know that x must equal to 49 over 9. Same answer. Right, so however, we're not using any similar triangle or anything like that. You know, as elementary students, if you know the triangle, how to calculate triangle area, you're able to um, find this answer. All right, um, personally, I find the second method uh, simpler and easier to understand and uh, is a beautiful proof. All right, thank you.